In this short video, I will show you how to use Bloodhound with our Super Trend Bullseye Indicator. As you can see here, it can be configured actually quite easily to pick up all the signals of Super Trend Bullseye, even if Super Trend Bullseye is configured with the auto optimization mode. In this case, it is done uh, with auto optimization. You can see it here. It is switched on, automatically optimized. I can click optimize here. And Bloodhound will pick up uh, the short signals as well as the long signals. So I'm going to show you how this can be done. There are only a few steps needed for it. So I'm going to click here, um, go to my template, and I'm going to do it from scratch. So I'm going to create, click on new logic. All right. So, all right. So let's start completely from scratch. So new logic. And what you need to do is you have to go to solvers and then choose the threshold solver so i'm going to click on that and we have to configure the threshold solver now so the first thing you do is you choose super trend bolts eye uh, on the indicator so i'm going to click on the three dots here this will open up a new panel all right and we're going to go to trading indicators down to super trend bolts eye and we will select this indicator in the default settings. So make sure you have automatically optimized parameters checked. Uh, make sure it has the look back period that you uh, wanted to have. Default is 500. We're going to keep it like this. But if you want to choose a different look back period, you can do that as well. All right. So then go down here and now we have to configure it. So for our long entries, we're going to use the super trend bolts I buy signal and for the short entries, the sell signal. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to click OK. And now we can connect already our threshold solve. Actually, I'm going to give it a name first. I'm going to call it Super Trend Bullseye. All right. And now we can connect it, the start here, with our result. All right. Pretty good. And let's see what happens on the chart. So if I drag this away, we can already see that it does indeed seem to pick up all the long signals but for some reason the short signals are not picked up there's actually a reason for this a quite easy reason so let's go back to our bloodhound panel and i selected the solver here and now we go down to output i'm going to expand this by clicking on the three dots here and this will open up another new panel all right and here we can see that for long signals, it is required that Super Trend Bolt's Eye, the, um, the buy plot, is greater than zero. But for the sell signals, uh, the sell signal is less than zero. But that's not uh, how Super Trend Bolt's Eye works. For Super Trend Bolt's Eye, and in fact, all our indicators at tradingindicators.com, we always require to be greater than zero. So all you need to do is to change the short signal to greater than zero, apply it. And once done, as you can see here, it will work properly. So if I drag this away, you can now see that Bloodhound is configured 100% in sync with our super trend bullseye signals, both for the long and for the short direction.